So we're going to fix the error cache miss, uh, which is normally confirmed from submission error in any browser. The users may come across the error, uh, stating that there's a form resubmission. It usually means that the web page you are viewing requires submission of data in order to proceed. Sometimes when you have already entered the data, it needs to be entered again or the old one will be used. If this error keeps repeating, it means there may be a problem with your current browser. So sometimes in the cache may be unusable or there may be some configurations which are not configured correctly. We can perform some checks on your browser in order to be sure that this error originates at your end. If by the end of troubleshooting you determine that the problem isn't with your browser, it means that this error is resulting from the website server end and there is nothing much you can do till the developers fix it there. The first option that we have is to clear browsing data. If you are using Google Chrome, type chrome colon backslash backslash settings. Once you are in the settings page, navigate to the bottom of the page and click on advanced. Let's click on advanced. Once you are here, see the section privacy and security. Okay. Um, under the section privacy and security, we have this clear browsing data. Click on this one. It's better to select the time range for the all time and then check all the options. Let's uh, skip passwords. And we are going to skip media licenses. Clear your data. And restart your browser. After restarting the browser, see if the website you were having issues with is working normally again. If this doesn't work, we need to check the extensions for the browser. For this purpose, if you're using Google Chrome, type chrome colon backslash backslash extensions. Now, if you have um, extensions installed for your Chrome browser, you can try to disable every extension one by one and can check if a particular extension is causing any issue. Once you find out the extension, uh, which was problematic, just remove it and or keep it disabled and then try browsing your website. If this also doesn't work, then we need to reset the browser. So if you're using Google Chrome, we can try resetting browser by typing in Chrome colon backslash backslash settings. Once we are here, we need to navigate to advanced. Once we are in advanced, we need to go all the way down. And let's reset the browser. We can either uh, click on a uh, cleared up computer or we can reset settings to default. Click on reset and then see if you are now able to browse your website normally. Okay. If you are still not able to browse to the website and you are still getting the issue, um, we can update the browser. So let's press three dots in here. Click on help and select about Google Chrome. This will automatically check for the updates. If this, if your browser is not using the latest update, it will automatically update uh, for the latest um, build. 
once uh, your browser is updated relaunch your browser and see if your uh, problem is fixed the next item that we can try the option is to disable cache system we can try disabling the cache system altogether and check if this removes the error message do note that this cache system will be disabled while only developer mode is on so once you close the cache system will be functional again press ctrl shift and i when you are on your browser now press f1 scroll down and see in network options if you can find disable cache check this option and then browse to your website do not close this developer mode section or the settings section and keep browsing your website and see if you are still facing the issue if you're not uh, if you're still facing the issue we can go to the next option which is to reset settings let's close this thing do note that once you close this one uh, the disable cache option will be functional again and your browser will again use the cache to uh, cache normally like it usually does so the next option is to reset our network setting press windows and s key type cmd let me close this one press windows and s type cmd right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator click on yes for the usc prompt while you are here in the command prompt type ip config forward slash release again ip config forward slash all ip config forward slash flash dns ip config space forward slash renew this will take a little while now type net sh space int space ip space set space dns then type net sh space winsock space reset and then restart your computer and see if your issue is resolved if not you can uh, try to test the same website with other browsers and uh, if the web page doesn't open in another browser too it means that the problem doesn't lie at your end and this it's a problem with the website it will only be fixed by the developers at the server side please make sure some third-party firewall or the internet monitoring software isn't active if it is disable it and try accessing the web page again also try to reset your router by unplugging the power for at least 30 seconds i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel